Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be going over yet again another bow. This one's a crossbow actually. Um, and this one is the Icker Sting. The Icker Sting, uh, which I always called Icker String for some reason or another. It must be a, uh, a reading comprehension issue. Uh, but the Icker Sting, uh, it stands for, um, Icker is kind of like the, like the watery discharge that comes from a wound. And obviously sting is pretty much self-explanatory. So, you know, it's, it's like making wounds on the target essentially. And, um, it's a, it's a decent little bow. We'll go over it and we'll talk about it together. So it's 30%, um, or sorry, it's a, it's a crossbow. It is 13 to 24 damage. Uh, it has 33 dexterity requirement and 40 strength, which isn't that high for level 18, but some characters might have trouble putting it on. Uh, we also have a very uh, low level requirement of only level 18, uh, which is basically about the end of Act 2, beginning of Act 3. So you're talking about like Arcane Sanctuary, um, Canyon of the Magi, stuff like that. That's about where you'd be able to put this on if you if you followed a normal prog progression. Um, it's a crossbow class, of course, so it's normal attack speed on an Amazon. Uh, do keep in mind that attack speed does change depending on what character you put the bow on. Uh, so some characters will have a slower attack speed with crossbows, and some characters will have a faster attack speed with crossbows. Um, Amazons have the fastest attack speed with crossbows in general. Um, so when you put it on an Amazon, you'll see what the actual attack speed is. So, don't, so if you find it on like a Paladin or something and it says that it's slow... Um, you know, don't believe that number, you know, go over to your Amazon and see how fast it is on your Amazon because she has a different speed. Um, we also have 20% increased attack speed on this, which makes it a little bit faster. And uh, we have 50% piercing attack. Now, piercing attack is a very, I mean, very powerful ability. And um, early on in the Amazon's career, especially before she gets piercing, she often has trouble killing things um, or utilizing her skills to their fullest benefit and having something like this that has 50 percent pierce on it at an early level can be a game changer for an amazon uh, specifically because it allows her to multiply her damage out um, we were talking earlier in one of the other videos um, about um, hell clap having additional fire damage and how it is multiplied out by exploding arrow well if you don't have any piercing then exploding arrow doesn't get multiplied. It's just an initial explosion, and that's it. But if you have piercing, you can potentially have the explosion go off two, three, four, five, sometimes even six, seven, eight, nine times, depending on how many monsters are hit by the exploding arrow and how many times it pierces through. Um, so having 50% pierce at level 18, which is a relatively low level, um, is absolutely excellent. Now you can pair this with other equipment that also has pierce on it. Like for instance, you could use Irotha's set, which has a 24% pierce. So you could be running 74% pierce if you ran the Icker String with or Icker Sting with the uh, Irotha set, and you would probably be pretty tanky too because it's just a nuts. It, Arathas is just a nut set. Very, very good set. One of my favorites. Uh, we also have 50% enhanced damage on this, which is static. And uh, it doesn't go up or down. It's just a, a flat value. Um, and then we also have 50 to attack rating. They really like the number 50 with this. We got 50 pierce. We got 50 attack rating. We got 50 ED. Um, I'm surprised they didn't give us 50 poison and 50 dex. Because that's the, that's the road they were on. But here's something funny. They gave us 30 poison over three seconds, which is actually pretty decent for level 18. And then they gave us 20 dex. 20 dex increases the um, damage that the bow does pretty, pretty nicely, by the way. It's 20 extra off weapon ED. And then add 20 to 30, and what do you get? You get 50. So they literally gave you 50, 50, 50, and then 50. Uh, something to do with the number 50 on this particular bow. Not really sure what that's about. Probably some sort of, uh, of uh, fetish by one of the developers. Now, we can, of course, upgrade this to the higher tier, and we can see if it, uh, if it gets any better, right? So uh, let's go ahead and grab two emeralds, and we're going to need a Ral and a Soul Rune to upgrade this to the first tier. Um, and then we're going to need a Lum and a Pull to upgrade it to the second tier. Um, Lum and Paul is a bit expensive, and so most people are probably not going to do the third tier upgrade. 
But I want to do this for you guys so that you guys can see whether or not it's any good. Alright, so first off, we got 13 to 24 damage, 33 dex, 40 strength, level 18. Which goes to 30 to 63, 70 dex, 80 strength, level 30. Um, not a bad upgrade, actually. Uh, damage went up quite nicely. Uh, dex and strength are not so high that it's untenable. And level 30 is actually not bad. You can still use that before you leave normal difficulty. So really not a bad upgrade to Tier 2. Uh, let's see how it upgrades to Tier 3, though. I'm kind of interested in this. I don't really think it's going to be a good upgrade to Tier 3. It doesn't have enough ED. Um, but it if it has like a really low level requirement, like the last bow that we crossbow that we checked maybe uh, let's see what it goes to so 30 to 63 70 dex 80 strength level 30 to 37 to 130 gorgon crossbow 105 dexterity 117 strength level 62 so not really a good upgrade to the uh, final tier the damage didn't really go up high enough to make it worth it and, um, and none of the other effects scaled, obviously, so we got no increase in the attack rating, no increase in the poison damage, no increase in the enhanced damage. Um, the 50% piercing attack, of course, is still nice, but it doesn't have anything else going for it at this point. It's just not worth it. Um, so very solid tier 1 crossbow if you need that 50% piercing attack, which will definitely help you out a ton at early levels to multiply your exploding arrow or your freezing arrow damage. Or even just to fire off a couple um, multi-shots. Uh, very nice tier 2 upgrade because it only goes to level 30 and the damage is actually not bad. Very, very poor tier 3 update upgrade. Definitely would not do that. Not worth the Paul and the Lum rune. Don't waste your don't waste your runes on this. Um, as for finding this item, let's go take a look over on Silas Pen real quick and let's see where we could potentially locate this item if we wanted to grab a snaga, a snaga grab it. Mm. Uh, so we were looking at Icker String last time. Oh no, this is Icker String. Okay, I already set it up. All right, so it's a low level item. It's only level eighteen, so I put fifty percent magic find. And uh, we're going to restrict this to normal because I feel like you're not going to use this bow outside of normal difficulty. Um, so let's get an idea of where we could find it in normal difficulty. And uh, it does look like Diablo is the best bet, but at level 18, you're not farming Diablo. So bad choice. Um, unless you're just trying to get it for yourself, like you're a twink out of character. We got Mephisto, uh, 1 in 234. That might be a little closer to, to reality. Uh, but it's still a little high. Let's see if we've got any good super uniques. Uh, Battle Maid Serena. Not too difficult to farm. She is in the Ruined Temple um, where Lama Sam's Tome is. Very easy to find. It's always in the... Um, I think it's Kuros Bazaar. Um, and it's the, it's the tomb that's facing south. It's always the tomb that's facing south. Uh, Storm Tree, also very easy to farm. Uh, that's lower Kurost. Uh, so you could basically just go through the lower Kurost waypoint, go straight down to the door, and um, you literally could just kill a oh, Storm Tree over and over again. Um, not really seeing a lot of other good options. It does look like Storm Tree might be our best bet. The Council drops, uh, drops it as well if you want to farm the Council. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. I think Stormtree and Battlemade Serena might be the two best choices there. It's kind of odd that it doesn't drop in Act 2, but I guess uh, them's, uh, them's the breaks. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video on Icker Sting, even if I did uh, call it Icker String. And uh, as always, keep watching.